Hi everybody, welcome to Social Food Network. I hope we're all well. Um, got another basic skill for you today. We're continuing the stocks and we're doing a fish stock. So, we've got some ingredients down the front here and we'll talk through what we need for a fish stock. So, first thing, fish bones, obviously very important. These are white fish bones, so obviously if you can imagine you'd get you know, darker meat and darker fish bones. These are from white fish, flat fish, from place. So we've just basically uh, washed them off and just cut them up so they're into smaller pieces. And then because we want quite a white stock, we're using the white bones, only white ingredients. If you notice down the front here, I've got some onions. They're just cut a little bit chunky. Moving on to some fennel, finishing with some leek. If you had some celery, you could chop some celery as well. Basically, we want to stay away from things like carrots and stuff like that. We don't want sort of them in there and take the colour of the actual stock. Nice pan, and turn that on, get it hot. Got some over here, got some olive oil, which is just what we're going to use to start frying off the, the ingredients. So we're going to warm that up, a little bit of olive oil to start. So if you watched our chicken stock video, um, everything that we were going on about basically roasts and everything, it's kind of the opposite to a fish stock. We want to keep it quite clear. So obviously if you roast everything, you're going to end up with a darker colour stock and that's not really what we want. So olive oil in. I'm going to start with the vegetables first. I've got one garlic clove as well. I'm just going to add that with the vegetables at the beginning. That could just be crushed. So we don't really need to actually chop that. We can just crush that. I'm just going to throw that in. Oil should be getting slightly warm now. You want to hear a bit of a sizzle. Like I say, it's slightly different to the chicken stock where we're not roasting everything off. You notice the fish bones, they haven't been roasted either. So in with the onion, in with the leek. There's a little noise there, but nothing, nothing too worried about. And in with the leeks there. A little bit of salt just to just to season it all up. So fish stock's really good. It's, obviously it's, it's a base for a lot of sauces, velouté, fish sauces. You can use this to actually poach and cook your fish as well. So it is quite a good fundamental to learn. I'm much quicker than a chicken stock. So the chicken stock, you remember we cook for three to four hours. This one takes 20 minutes. As soon as it comes to the boil, 20 minutes and then it's done. Like I say, we're not, we're not aiming to really colour this. I'm going to go in with my garlic as well now. Just sweating it, we're not, we're not trying to colour it. The only other ingredients that we really need for a fish stock is some um, on my board down here. So this is the top of the fennel. These are called fennel plums, so it's just the little tops of the fennel. We're going to put them in at the very end. Some flat leaf parsley and some lemon. Then we're going to go in after the 20 minutes and we're going to let them cool down in the stock and that's going to keep it really fresh and real clean flavour. I've got a little bit of dry white wine as well. And obviously just a bit of water to top it up. So once you've got a little bit of heat into the vegetables, like I say, we're not really trying to colour them, we're just sweating them off a little bit, just to get the heat inside. We're going to go in with the fish bones. Like, these, like I say, these have just been broken up a little bit so you're not, you're not forced to in the pan. Fish heads and everything, it's absolutely fine. Just go in. And all we're trying to do here is just get a bit of heat into that fish. I'm moving it around. Just get a bit of heat into it. If you can't get hold of the actual fish bones, you watch one of our previous videos, which is actually filleting the fish. You can use the bones from the sea bream in our, our previous video to make the fish stock. So you don't actually have to go and buy, buy fish bones. Okay, so we've got a bit of heat into that now. We're going to go in with a bit of, this is some just dry white wine. About 100 ml of wine in there. I'm just going to bring that up. Reduce that a little bit. Just got some water and uh, again like the chicken stock i'm just going to cover the bones this with this one again it's similar similar uh, principles so as soon as it starts to come to the boil we're going to give it an initial skim and then as soon as it comes to the boil it's 20 minutes 
It's quite important that you don't boil it for much longer. If you start to boil it for longer, it gets a bit dull with flavour. So just about 20 minutes, set your stopwatch, and then we're gonna go in with all the other ingredients. So we're just bringing the wine up to the boil now. It really is sort of non-comparable if you buy these stocks from, from a supermarket, these ready-made chicken or ready-made fish stocks. It's really night and day the difference between making your own and it is super simple, especially the fish. It's usually just bits of vegetables that you have anyway and the bones, which like I said, if you prepped your fish or you can actually fish longer. Wine's brought to the boil, it's reduced a little bit. We're going to go in with the water. So again, cold water. We always add the cold water and bring it up. So we're in with our cold water. The idea with this is it's going to be a real fresh, fresh flavour as opposed to a little bit more sort of roasted and than we had with the chicken stock. So the water's in. I've done got I've got above the bones, but it is gonna it's not gonna reduce loads, but it's gonna come down a little bit. And obviously we, we want a good yield and there'll be enough flavour in those fish bones to give a nice nice depth to the to the stock. Other few other things that you'll need to hand obviously. I the chicken stock, I've got a pan here with my ladle and I'm just gonna skim that as soon as it comes up to the boil. So all we're looking here is once you get a bit of scum that comes to the top, a little bit from the bones, I'm just gonna skim that off and it's 20 minutes. Okay guys, so the fish stock has now had around 20 minutes. There's a lovely fragrant smell coming from it. I'm just gonna turn that off now. And we're gonna put the other ingredients in. So like I mentioned before, the fennel ponds, I'm gonna put them in. The reason obviously we put these in now is we want them to cool in the stock. We don't want them to colour the stock, but we want them to really perfume it. In with the parsley. And then the lemon, we're probably just gonna put half a lemon in. So two or three sort of nice thick slices. Them in. Try and push the parsley under the lemon and then in with the lemon. Put a lid on it, or if you haven't got a lid that fits your pan, you can just cling film it. And all we're going to do now is we're just going to let that cool down completely. We're going to leave it probably two to three hours, let it cool down completely. Pass it through a really fine sieve, nice and slow, though. let it drip. You don't want to be bashing it through, we don't want to take all that really clean, sort of crystal colour that we've got there. Just let it drip through nice and gently and you should end up with a really fresh, really fragrant fish stock. We can then put that in the freezer, we can uh, put it in the fridge if we're going to use it that day. Okay, so there's another Chef Basic there from Social Food Network. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please subscribe to the channel for different videos. There's plenty more to come. Um, write any comments below, we really appreciate them. Thank you very much again for your time. We'll see you again on Social Food Network. Bye-bye.